Accuracy and efficiency are arguably the two most important factors when it comes to determining volumetric output and material stockpiles in a mining operation. Traditional methods of measuring stockpiles for mines have been labor-intensive, time-consuming, and, quite frankly, susceptible to error. The integration of drones equipped with light detection and ranging, or LiDAR, payloads has made the process more efficient, less time-consuming, and much safer. I'm Chris from CanDrone, and on today's video, we'll be talking about how LiDAR drones have helped to streamline the stockpile and volumetric measurement process in mining operations. It's no mystery that drones have come about as one of the most disruptive forces in a variety of industries, mining included. In fact, drones equipped with high-resolution cameras, GPS, and advanced software capabilities have changed the way that mining operations collect data and conduct surveys. In the context of stockpile measurement, drones offer several distinct advantages. The first is rapid data acquisition. Drones can quickly navigate through mining facilities and collect thousands of images in a fraction of the time it would take ground crews to do the same. The next is enhanced safety. Obviously, sending a drone into a potentially dangerous situation is much safer than sending human assets. This eliminates a lot of risk to employees and other staff that oversee mining operations and the collection of volumetric data. And finally, improved accuracy. The high-resolution imagery collected by drones can be used to make precise 3D models of stockpiles. They can also be used to generate highly detailed digital surface models, or DSMs, and point clouds. While drones equipped with photogrammetry payloads excel in generating visual data, LiDAR systems help to complement that data by providing depth information through laser scanning. LiDARs emit laser pulses and measure the time it takes those pulses to bounce back off of an object back to the LiDAR. They then produce 3D representations that are highly accurate of terrain and stockpiles. The integration of LiDAR sensors alongside photogrammetry drones offers a few distinct advantages when it comes to measuring stockpiles and volumetrics in mining operations. First, LiDAR penetrates vegetation. So in areas where you have dense vegetation and a canopy of foliage, LiDAR can actually penetrate through that to give you a very accurate representation of the terrain and stockpiles within your mining facility. The next advantage is nighttime and low light operations. LiDAR sensors are not dependent upon ambient light in any capacity to collect the data that they were designed to collect. This means that you can expand your working day with your LiDAR drone by several hours because you no longer need to worry about how much daylight you have in a given working period. You can also intentionally work during nighttime hours to reduce the number of personnel that are on site, making it a safer operation overall. The last advantage is sub-centimeter accuracy. LiDAR sensors on drones can collect data up to a fraction of a centimeter in terms of their accuracy in measurement. Now, the difference between a drone and a ground crew collecting the same set of data and their accuracy level on that data really varies depending upon a few factors, including who's operating the drone, who's operating the LiDAR payload, and who's operating the equipment for the ground crew. However, data collected by Propeller Aero shows that drones are 10 times faster in collecting the same type of data to the same level of accuracy as that data collected by ground crews. So while it's hard to tell right now how much more accurate drone LiDAR is than a ground crew, it can be safely said that drones are more efficient when capturing that data. But what happens to all of the data you collected during your drone operation? The sheer volume of data that's collected by LiDAR and photogrammetry sensors can be overwhelming. Fortunately though, software like Pix4D and Agisoft Metashape have streamlined data processing, which makes it easier to set up point clouds, dense point clouds, that serve as the foundation for 3D models of your stockpiles and terrain. Specialized software applications, such as the LiDAR 360 Terrain Module, facilitate volumetric calculations, meaning that you can take the data sets that you've collected in your point clouds and your DSMs and determine deviations in your stockpile measurements. This allows you to know whether or not stockpiles are fluctuating in their values or if they're remaining consistent. Drones are paving the way for a few Future where the mining industry is characterized by precision, sustainability, and environmental stewardship from the sky. Did you learn something new from this video? Let us know down in the comments below, or if we missed something how drones and LiDAR are used in the mining industry, let everybody know down in the comments below. We greatly appreciate your input. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up icon down below. And while you're at it, if you love learning more about drones, any type of drone, any type of use case of drone, this is the channel for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button while you're at it. Hit the bell icon. It'll send you a notification every time we post a new video. Until next time, I'm Chris from CanDrone reminding you that everyone can drone.